This video will create a Docker container for a .NET project and will push that project to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, in this uh, web API, I will make uh, just a small change. I will remove this uh, controller here and uh, the route will be uh, the empty route and uh, our app will simply return the default uh, weather so that is not important what is important is to create a new docker file so new file docker file so make sure also to have installed docker in your machine and let's start with uh, from uh, we need uh, the image that we want to start so I will uh, write Microsoft uh, Container Registry uh, Microsoft dot com slash dot net slash SDK so we'll start with the version 5 so uh, this is uh, the a container that uh, will start and it will have have uh, the SDK already installed in this container and uh, I will name it as build so this will be a multi-stage docker build and uh, I will explain it later why I name it like this so let's start with uh, the working directory I'll name it up so uh, uh, we you can specify whatever folder that you want I will name it like this and here we'll copy the uh, C-sharp project so all dot C-sharp uh, project so like this and we will copy to the working directory so uh, this project will be copied to this dot means this working directory and uh, after it's copied we run the command dot net restore after we run the com ra that command we will copy all in that folder again so this will get all the files here and it will copy to the working directory and after we copied all the files we need to publish uh, to a DLL so to to do it we run the command run dot net publish uh, we need to specify release and uh, it will, the output will be in the out folder and that's it for the first stage so uh, let's run this command in our uh, local machine to see what this does generate so if we run this command we will uh, get uh, an out folder here where we will have a lot of files uh, the one that uh, we are interested in is uh, this uh, .NET docker dll so uh, we're interested only in this file and we can ignore all the other files that's why we use now a multi-stage build because uh, this will contain all the files and also the output but uh, this other container that we will build now so from uh, I'll copy this .NET and uh, we will specify AS ASP.NET here this other container will have the same working directory uh, but don't confuse this working directory with this one because there are different containers and uh, we will copy from the build so from this build we'll copy up which is the working directory there out so we'll copy everything in the out folder to this dot which is this working directory so we, will, we created another container with only the out folder so it is a smaller one and uh, what is left is to add an entry point 
dot net and we will execute dot net docker dll and that's it so in the end we have a lighter docker container which is just a dll so we can execute it so uh, we finished with uh, this uh, docker file let's build it so to build a docker file run docker build and uh, we want to specify a name for this docker build and uh, we can specify a name by adding minus t up uh, that is the name that we want to build and uh, we will add the context which is a dot so this will execute this docker file so it's building let's wait till it's completed so the container has been built and now we it is ready to be pushed to the cloud but before let's test it on our browser to test it on our browser we have to run uh, this uh, container uh, we need to specify the port so inside of the container the port is 80 but uh, in our local host we can put whatever port we want i'll put 8888 and the name of uh, our container was up so let's run this and uh, it's successfully running now so if we open our browser and uh, write here localhost port 8888 we can see this is a json that uh, is returning this uh, weather forecast so it's working fine so this uh, container has been built and now we need to push it to the cloud i will close also this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged into my azure portal here and uh, before i create anything make sure to have uh, installed the azure cli so download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions you will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we'll create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, i will create a container registry here the resource group i ha i have a demo demo resource group here which i added just the name the registry name i'll call it up so it needs uh, to have a five characters so i'll call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app i will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this sku i will select the ba basic version let's create it and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, azure uh, azure container registry login and here we need the name which was which was up so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the url which is uh, this one so uh, we don't need the suffix so 
So let's log in. So this will allow us to push the Docker container to Azure. So we successfully logged in. And uh, now that we logged in, we can uh, push our image. To push our image, first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag, the name of our container is up and uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash app. So this is uh, our uh, repository here. So I added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it. So let's push it. And now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure container registry. So let's wait till it's completed. So it is completed. Now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories. This is our app repository and uh, here we have our image. So this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name. So I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now. So let's create a container instance. I'll select the same resource group. Uh, we need the container name. The container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure container registry. And we have our uh, container app. So uh, we need to enable uh, admin here. So let's click learn more. And we have to run this command. So uh, I will copy this command. And I will run it here. So we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly. Not sure if we need uh, my container up. So I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. I'll select up here, registry, and now it is selected. So uh, everything is correct. I'll change the size here. I will keep everything minimal. So 0.5 is uh, minimal uh, memory. So I'll select this, review and create. Uh, also, I think uh, I forgot something. So uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80. So by default is automatically mapped. So we don't have anything to change. But if your container port is different, we need to select here the, uh, the other port. So 80 is correctly. And uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else. Let's create it. So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource. And uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address. And if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.